Cervical cancer is on the rise in Namibia and is one of the leading causes of cancer-related death among women across the globe. Cervical cancer accounted for 135 deaths among Namibian women between the ages of 30 and 49. 2030, this is expected to worsen. It will be basically a disease of only the developing <coughs> nations. By 2030, the first world would have done with cervical cancer at the rate they are going, and we will be carrying the burden of it if something is not done. Male circumcision was identified as one way of reducing not only the risk of contracting HIV, but reducing the risk of passing on HPV, which causes cancer in women. We hear the Minister of Health confirming that they are ready for service. What is needed is for women to go and get tested. The government of Namibia has in place effective and affordable testing methods that leads to the early detection of cervical cancer. All HIV negative women between the ages of 25 and 50 are advised to be screened for cervical cancer every three to five years, depending on the test used while those living with HIV should be screened yearly. We'll be ready, despite that we have economic hardship, we are committed that we'll have all the best equipment, more especially with regard to the past near services and family planning, all those activities that women-oriented will have them. The Health Directorate in the Karas region will continue to hold awareness campaigns about cervical cancer together with the Cancer Association of Namibia. Natang with Jimmy NBC News, Kiet Manzwap.